Hello everyone, I'm John Paul, John K. Paul on the internet, uh, the CTO of InRhythm. A few weeks ago, I was invited to speak across the pond at the Full Frontal Conference. It is a uh, conference run by Remy Sharp, often short formed to FFConf 2015. Uh, it was a it was an unbelievable experience. I was extremely taken care of. I was in, I had the honor of speaking next to some amazing presenters, Sarah Swaydan, Paul Lewis, and many others. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about my experience there, as well as the you know, very interesting topics and extremely useful things that I learned while I was there. The f the first talk earlier in the morning was uh, Robin Maynard talking about ES6. It was in some sense a typical ES6. Here are some great features talk but in another sense gave some really active, useful tips on actually on the ground developing with it. Some that I had not thought of at all, to be honest. One was use syntax highlighting and install the correct plugins, which is true for me in Vim, I use the old regular Vim JavaScript highlighting that does not yet support ES6, and it does mess with the colors a lot. Being able to install a real syntax highlighter helps a lot with being able to quickly look at par and understand in your head, parse that code. Um, additionally, he highlighted that const, the new feature of JavaScript in ECMAScript 6, um, it does not actually provide full object constness. So he recommended that we use object.freeze or object.seal and defining properties with configurable writable false so that individual pieces of that object cannot be mutated. Uh, then there was a great talk by Sarah Swaydan, unbelievable presenter. I had so much information, I could not actually write everything down as quickly as I wanted to. Basically about animation and SVG. Very gratefully, um, the organizers of this conference have put all of the videos up, so I'll have some links below. The one takeaway that I had from that that I did remember very clearly was that we should always be, when you are using SVGs, you should always be testing them for your file size and feasibility. For example, in some situations, icon fonts might actually be better than the SVG, but the SVG might be easier to work with and tools to spit them out, things like that. <clears throat> then there was a talk by Anna Shipman, um, who talked a lot about basically DevOps for front-end developers. The conference is called Full Frontal. It is a conference for front-end developers. It, this talk was about DevOps, about Docker, do you need to actually know it? The answer was roughly, you should know it from a high level, but you don't need necessarily need to know it deeply. She focused on some other things that you should be learning as a front-end developer. One is the amazing man command, including man man, which gives you the manual for the man command. You can man almost anything. You can man LS, man CD, you can man many things if you'd like to learn about it. Um, and then also she recommended to expose yourself to make files. So then um, the next talk up was Marcy Sutton, an amazing talk about mobile accessibility, all of the different concerns, uh, difficulties, and the importance of, from a business perspective, why mobile accessibility really drives the bottom line in certain uh, organizations, especially focused on e-commerce, but there are other very valid outside of just a good thing to do as humans, uh, pieces of mobile, of accessibility in general. And there was a great talk by Paul Lewis. By the way, they're all great. Uh, Remy and his wife, Julie, select these uh, very carefully. There's nothing, there's gratefully very, very no, uh, very, very few, if anything, I could possibly say negative about this conference. Um, the next talk was by Paul Lewis. Paul Lewis, a uh, Google developer advocate. He just released a new project called Big Rig, which is a performance analysis tool the, installable via NPM that allows you to uh, keep track of your performance over, over time, as well as first render for S. It's focused on single page web applications, basically. Um, he highlighted something specifically for me is that we should always be focusing on the people bits. And I am, I mean, as the CTO of InRhythm and thinking about this team here, that is a big part of what I do and what I'm thinking about. His point was developer ergonomics is not necessarily the only thing to consider, but also user experience. Of course, we all say that, but thinking about that from the performance perspective is where he was, he was going. Then uh, Martin Kleppi, who is an amazing code golfer, which is something that I have, I have always assumed was completely magical uh, at the point of understanding how, how cell phones or Hogwarts works, but apparently it's actually understandable. He, get, he went through techniques for how he 
in how he actually manually writes code, for example, quines, code that will execute itself, or some things where in, a, in, in maybe a thousand characters or a hundred characters, you end up with a spinning globe or, or some amazing ASCII art where a normal human being like me has no idea how he did that. He really broke down how it's, it's actually understandable, although, although difficult. Um, and then uh, lastly, the, the talks were rounded up by an extremely brave talk by Lena Reinhardt about basically humanity, about people, was about diversity, and about how we have a responsibility to both our users, colleagues, and just people in general about um, you know, the difficult conversations we don't necessarily want to have in our heads. It was very difficult to listen to, but very necessary to listen to. The, the, the most significant part about this talk, and why I recommend of all of these, you watch them, everything else you can Google for. You can Google for ES6, you can Google for my talk, you can Google for Docker. You can't Google for these difficult conversations when you need them. This is something that you need to be thinking about beforehand. So I really recommend that you go and take a look at that. Uh, lastly, my own talk. I, uh, I spoke about uh, natural human languages and their comparison and contrast with uh, linguistics and programming languages. <clears throat> so I found it, of course, immensely interesting. Uh, the video is up online. Uh, I made this interest. I made this uh, a side project of mine using Web Audio and React that I talked about, and as well as my own exploration of my family's language history, as well as um, my interest in amateur, extremely amateur uh, linguistics. So, unbelievable conference, had a great time being one across the pond far away, but also with an amazing group of people, the attendees, the organizers, the sponsors, all I had a great experience with uh, and gratefully keeping in touch with many. So, uh, thank you so much. I hope to see you next time uh, for the uh, CTO video blog.